If you often deal with electronic circuits, whether you are a student, or an electronics engineer, an electronic service provider, or maybe just an electronics hobby, I'm sure you will have a situation where you feel confused about an electronic component, confused with the function of the component pin, or even confused with the specifications of these components. So the solution is, of course, we will look for information on component specifications which must be provided by the manufacturer. Yes, the technical information that we came to know as datasheet. What are datasheets? According to Wikipedia, the explanation is as follows. A datasheet, datasheet, or spec sheet is a document that summarizes the performance and other characteristics of a product, machine, component, e.g., an electronic component, material, subsystem, e.g., a power supply, or software in sufficient detail that allows a buyer to understand what the product is and a design engineer to understand the role of the component in the overall system. Typically, a datasheet is created by the manufacturer and begins with an introductory page describing the rest of the document, followed by listings of specific characteristics, with further information on the connectivity of the devices. In cases where there is relevant source code to include, it is usually attached near the end of the document or separated into another file. Datasheets are created, stored, and distributed via product information management or product data management systems. On this page we can see a sample datasheet. In this document we can see information about a component, starting from general information, to very detailed technical information or specifications. We can clearly see the function of the pins on these components. We can see sample schematics, PCB layout references, etc. In this video I want to share information. Where should we look for the datasheet of a component? Or where are we can get the datasheet we need? Please watch this video. But before that, for those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe first. After you finish watching this video, don't forget to like, comment. Okay? First, to find the datasheet, of course, you usually have to visit the website of the component manufacturer. I usually will check the logo or code on the component that I will look for in the datasheet. Like the following for example. We will visit the Texas Instruments website to find the following component datasheet. On this website we can of course access the product menu. Then enter the submenu the types of products that are so many. And the easiest way to find the datasheet, of course, is to just type keywords in this search field. For example, here I will look for the PCM2704 datasheet. Has it appeared here? It doesn't exist yet. So we'll look for it by clicking this button. And we quickly got the link for the PCM2704 data. We click this datasheet button. This is the datasheet we need. We can read it directly, or we can download or print it as needed. The next example. We will visit the site Winchip Head. Here we will find the CH341 chipset datasheet. This is the datasheet. We can download it from here. In addition to the datasheet we can get drivers or other supporting programs. Then an example of a third manufacturer site, namely, Microchip. For example, here we will look for the datasheet of the Atemega 328. We open the link.
Here is the link to the datasheet. We just have to click for us to download. Next, the second way to find the datasheet is through the component seller's site. I often do this, when I can't find the component datasheet on the manufacturer's site. Strange indeed. Usually that's if you look for the datasheet of components that are no longer produced. The sites I usually visit include digikey.com. This is a very well-known component seller site. They have a variety of products from various manufacturers. In addition to selling components, the great thing about this site is that there is a variety of supporting information for the products they sell. And of course this is very helpful for us. For example, we will look for the DS3231 datasheet. Here you can see that there are several variants of the DS3231. Let's click this one for example. It is very helpful when we even want to buy components. We don't need to go back and forth to explore other sites, because we can get technical information or datasheets about products here too. The next site is Aero.com. It is also very well known. Caters to purchases globally, with excellent service of course. Here, for example, we will look for the CPC 1217 datasheet. We click the link, and we will be given the datasheet we need. Another component seller site is mouser.com. Here we will look for datasheet Winbond 25N01 for example. This is a list of components for sale, and we can access the datasheet here. And the third alternative to find datasheet is a site like this, alldatasheet.com. In my personal opinion, this site has a very complete collection of datasheets. Some of the rare components can even be found in the datasheet here. The interface is really user-friendly, and for me this site provides the right information or links. This is very important of course. Some other sites, which index the component datasheet unfortunately when we open only misleading information and sometimes full of traps. It's very annoying when you're looking for a datasheet, but when we click on the link it displays web pages that are not related to what we're looking for. All datasheet site in my opinion, very safe. Therefore I highly recommend it.